what you were successful on last night despite the disappointment of the loss and try to move from there and, and, and go? Well, I think you do two things. You did tons of good things and you're in control of the game and you're left disappointed. So why not fix the stuff that's making you disappointed so you don't leave disappointed? And, you know, uh, there's two ways to look at things is we've had an opportunity, I believe, to be 3-0. and you know, We've got a possible four to six points, which uh, if you tell me before it started, I'd say that's fine, but we could have had more. And so I'm a bit greedy and so are the guys. Scoring games, first goal in three consecutive games as well. It's a big change from last season. Well, we, what's the biggest change is we score, but we, we're not interested in racing you to 10. You know, the game in the NHL, no matter what's going on right now, is going to be 3 2 or 2 1. We all know that. So, learning how to defend and play without the puck and spending time in the offensive zone is how you win. And the other thing is, is just when you're ahead, you got to keep pushing. And when you're behind, you got to keep pushing. I mean, the moral of the story is simple. You got to keep your foot on the gas and play right. You mentioned that you got a lot of information about Anderson before he signed, talking to different people. Yeah. Same thing with Enroth when you were. Yeah, I mean, uh, um, he's a guy who's uh, been able to be good wherever he's been. Uh, we like him a lot. Uh, he's a good kid. Uh, he's a good pro. He understands what his job is. And here's an opportunity for him here tonight. And, and when you're the backup, you get all. Uh, the tough spots. Mm -hmm. That's just the way Back the league backs. is. Dig in and play. I think there's some growing pains for Frederick Anderson, learning the system, learning new te teammates. No, I don't think that has anything to do with it. I just think that, uh, you know, it's pretty apparent uh, where he's giving up goals, so they'll just work on it. But, you know, in saying that, you look at you look at him at the end of the game, but at the start of the game, and when they were out shooting a 6 nothing, and we could have been out of the game already, we weren't. Suddenly, we were up 4 nothing. So, I mean, there's two parts. Their goalie, I thought, played real well last night. He gassed. The, it was the second goal, the one that went east-west in the NAS, whatever one goal that was. Uh, but he made some real good saves. Our goaltender made some good saves too, but we all remember the shots that go in. That's just life. That's not a goal. Tweak anything else, or you just kind of well, like. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. It had nothing to do with the goaltending. In my, right. That had nothing to do with. Yet. So the outcome is controllable for us. Uh, we talked about what we have to do to be successful, and so we'll fix that. Uh, I think I saw Jacques Lemaire at, or just at the end of camp uh, around the time that you guys had the home opener. Does he do something uh, sort of comprehensive scouting stuff that uh, helps you early in the season, or is it just for no, close Jacques, upcoming I, opponents? Uh, I wasn't at camp. I think Jacques was at. Uh, I think Jacques went to camp. Did he go to camp? Okay. Uh, so he went to part uh, at camp, and then he shows up uh, when it's convenient for him. What I like about Jacques, I've known Jacques for a long time. Coached me at the 2010 Olympics. Uh, uh, we have a good understanding. He doesn't, he's not here every day. Mm -hmm. So when you're here every day, sometimes you can't see the forest for the trees mm -hmm. and sometimes a perspective from the outside. And then we talk on the phone and mm -hmm. if he sees something, we talk about it. So when he left, he had a little assignment for me. And so he's working on that. 